polygons. We have previously examined some relationships among points, lines, and planes. In this section, we will consider several geometric figures called polygons, which are plane figures composed of line segments that begin at a given point and end at the same point without crossing. The word polygon is of Greek origin and means many angles, which would imply that the figure has many sides. These figures are examples of polygons. Notice how the polygon divides the plane into three distinct regions, the interior of the polygon, the polygon itself, and the exterior of the polygon. The endpoints of the line segments that compose the polygon are called the vertices of the polygon, and the line segments themselves are called the sides of the polygon. Pairs of sides that share common endpoints are called adjacent sides. The interior angles of a polygon are the angles formed inside the polygon by two adjacent sides. A segment which joins two vertices of a polygon but is not a side of the polygon, is called a diagonal of the polygon. Polygons are named by the letters of the vertices. It is understood that when a polygon is named by a set of letters, the order in which the letters are given is the order in which the points are connected. Here we have polygon A, B, C, D, E. If side AB is extended to point P, the angle P, B, C, is an example of an exterior angle of the polygon. The polygons in figures 1 through 4 are said to be convex polygons because if any two points in the interior of each are joined by a line segment, all points of the line segment will lie in the polygon's interior. Notice in figure 5 this is not the case. If we choose points A and B thus, the line segment joining these two points contains points other than those inside the polygon. Polygons like the one in figure 5 are called non-convex or concave polygons. Since concave polygons are not as frequently used as convex ones, we will concentrate our study on convex polygons. Therefore, from this point on, it will be understood that when we use the word polygon, it will refer to a convex polygon. An equilateral polygon has all sides the same length. In other words, the sides are congruent. An equiangular polygon has all angles of equal measure. That is, all angles are congruent. A regular polygon has equal sides and equal angles. Therefore, a regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular. Polygons are classified according to the number of sides they have. The polygons that are not included in the following list have no special names and are called n-gons, where n is the number of sides. For example, a polygon with 20 sides is called a 20-gon. Special names for polygons. A polygon with three sides is a triangle. A polygon with four sides is a quadrilateral. A polygon with five sides is a pentagon. A polygon with six sides is a hexagon. A polygon with seven sides is a heptagon. A polygon with eight sides is an octagon. A polygon with nine sides is a nonagon. A polygon with ten sides is a decagon. A polygon with twelve sides is a dodecagon.